The universe is both fascinating and enigmatic. For us humans, the infinite expanses of the universe hold many mysteries in store, which we can only decipher through difficulty according to the current state of knowledge of our civilization. Thus, in the world of astronomy, astonishing phenomena on other planets are regularly recorded, which cause big question marks among experts. Over the course of today's video, we would like to take a look at Jupiter together with you. NASA recently hit the headlines with breathtaking images of the planet, which shed a whole new light on the fifth planet of our solar system. If you would like to leave Earth with us to travel to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin the journey to the mysterious Jupiter. In order to get an idea of the gigantic dimensions of Jupiter, it is worth taking a comparative look at our Earth. While the diameter of our blue home planet is about 12,700 kilometers, the corresponding value for Jupiter is 143,000 kilometers. With this huge equatorial diameter, the celestial body, which was named after a god of the same name from Roman mythology, is the largest planet in our solar system. The mass of Jupiter, however, is composed of light gases. In contrast to our Earth, the gas giant Jupiter therefore has no solid surface. The direct surroundings of Jupiter are also dotted with numerous moons. So far, experts have discovered 79 moons orbiting the giant planet. After Venus, Mars, and our moon, Jupiter is the fourth brightest celestial body in the firmament. NASA's Juno Mission in 2011, NASA launched a mission that followed the purpose of exploring the enormous gas planet in more detail. For this reason, the space probe Juno was sent on its journey to the orbit of Jupiter, which it finally reached in July 2016. In keeping with the origin of the planet's name, the NASA space probe was also named after a figure from Roman mythology. In the stories of the ancient Romans, the goddess Juno was the wife of Jupiter, who, by the way, was the greatest deity within the Roman religion. The Juno mission was subject to several research objectives, the achievement of which was intended to help NASA to understand the nature of Jupiter more accurately. According to these goals, the spacecraft was to collect information that would indicate whether the giant celestial body had a solid core. The composition of Jupiter's immediate atmosphere was also to be investigated with the collected data. In addition, the scientists wanted to clarify how the strong magnetic field of the gas giant came about. So while the Juno probe was sent on its journey into the vastness of the galaxy with the aforementioned tasks, the highly technological space probe managed to take some pictures that caused pure amazement in the ranks of NASA. The photos were taken on September 11, 2019, and show the surface of the planet on which an inexplicable object is located. It seems that a gigantic black hole has opened up in the upper hemisphere of Jupiter. But how is that even possible? The black hole on the planet's surface. Shortly after the images of Jupiter became public, the most rapid theses that tried to explain the existence of the supposed black hole appeared on the internet. While the most ludicrous theories were circulating through the vast expanses of the internet, NASA was able to shed light on the subject with a well-founded explanation, which was far less spectacular than the flourishing fantasies of the numerous users. What we see in the images from the Juno spacecraft is merely a shadow. More precisely, the dark spot on the surface of Jupiter is the shadow cast by the moon Io on the imposing planet. Io is one of the four Galilean moons. These are the four largest natural satellites of Jupiter. Io is the third largest representative of the Galilean moons, which were named after the world-famous scientist Galileo Galilei, who discovered the satellites of Jupiter in 1610. The supposed black hole we see in the Juno images can be explained by the constellation of Jupiter, Io, and the Sun. At the time the pictures were taken, the moon was simply between the Sun and its host planet and therefore cast a direct shadow on the surface of the gas giant. This natural spectacle was therefore a solar eclipse on Jupiter, which was captured by the camera from its orbit. The images that Juno takes during its mission are made available by NASA in the so-called JunoCam directory. Here, amateur astronomers have the opportunity to examine and edit the raw material published by NASA. 
The Space Agency would like to encourage the general public to help process the available material. For example, sometimes interested users make it their business to crop the relevant photographs or to digitally highlight certain features of an image so that it can be better explored. By the way, the Juno is not the first space probe sent to Jupiter by NASA. As early as 1995, the space probe Galileo launched on a very similar mission to the gas giant, which finally ended in 2003. Just like its predecessor, Juno will be guided into the atmosphere of Jupiter once it has completed its mission. Thereafter, the spacecraft will eventually burn up. The knowledge that NASA wants to gather over the course of the Juno mission about the origin and development of Jupiter could bring important insights for the world of astronomers, which would catapult the scientific field a good step forward. The Abyss on Jupiter While we have already been able to solve the mystery of the alleged black hole on the planet's surface of Jupiter, we are now dealing with another phenomenon on the gas giant, which cannot yet be explained by NASA. The images in question are commonly known as the abyss on Jupiter, and show an apparition that, at first glance, is not so dissimilar to the aforementioned shadow of Lowe. However, in this case, it is not a shadow cast by another celestial body on Jupiter, but rather a gigantic hole that gapes on the surface of the gas giant. NASA could not help but admit that it cannot yet explain what the mysterious hole is or how it came about. Researchers suspect that the abyss could be a kind of gas vortex and is in all probability very deep. It would appear that the abyss is the center of a huge, highly torturous field of clouds which is hit by whipping storms. However, these statements are simply early speculations. Whether and when the phenomenon can be explained on Jupiter is currently still completely unclear. But even if the Juno images cannot yet be explained in full detail, images of this kind are of outstanding value in the world of astronomy. Within their research, the experts' approach is to compare the events observed on Jupiter with similar phenomena on Earth. This has led NASA staff to conclude that the vortex-like motions within Jupiter's atmosphere are subject to the same physical laws as corresponding events on our blue planet. Thus, the aforementioned cloud vortices on Jupiter could be compared with some vortices that are regularly observed in the Baltic Sea. In essence, these are liquid compounds that are set in motion by the rotation of a body. As different as the various celestial bodies in our solar system may be in their composition, the physical patterns to which every object in space appears to be subject are nevertheless similar. The Preliminary Results of the Juno Mission In addition to the spectacular images that we have discussed with you, the Juno spacecraft collected a great deal more information about the planet Jupiter during its mission, which provided researchers with important new insights. Before the probe was sent on its journey, NASA staff assumed that Jupiter had a solid core roughly the size of our Earth. However, the measurements carried out by Juno refuted this thesis for the time being. Currently, the scientists on Jupiter could not discover anything that would look like a nucleus. Possibly, this has the background that the planet core of the gas giant is not present as a concentrated mass in the center of the celestial body, but instead extends over large parts of the planet's interior. Another aspect of the Juno mission was to study the gigantic magnetic field surrounding Jupiter. The so-called magnetosphere is sometimes responsible for the creation of breathtaking auroras. The data collected by the spacecraft brought the information that Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger than experts had previously suspected. In addition, the substances within the magnetic field behave significantly differently than expected as well. The existence of so-called megablitzes, which occur mainly at the poles of the gas giant, also aroused researchers' interest. The experts wanted to find out why the gigantic flashes are distributed differently from what we know from our Earth. The answer to this question can be found in the source of Jupiter's weather. While the weather on our blue planet is mainly influenced by the energy of solar radiation, the weather conditions on Jupiter are subject to the energy generated by the planet itself. Based on the collected data, scientists gained a completely new picture of the fifth planet of our solar system, which is the foundation for future research. With this, we have reached the end of our video today. What do you think about the fascinating phenomenon Jupiter? We are looking forward to your comments.